It is one of the hippest ski resorts and the craziest on the planet. In Austria, in Alps Hart, Ischgl. A village of 1,500 inhabitants with more bars and ski lift nightclubs. Here, there are on every street corner. 25 in total with trendy DJs, go-go dancers and even fire breathers. Germans, Belgians, French, English, partygoers from all over the world are hustling. Starting at 4 p.m., the city center is transformed into a giant dance floor. During the six months of winter, it's all about partying. Jean-Philippe is a regular. With his friends, this Alsatian comes several times a year. Ten years ago, there was no one but us, and in recent years, there have been a lot of French people coming. Here, all extravagances are allowed. Like wearing a folk costume for an Austrian farmer. This is what has attracted Christophe for the last 11 years. This Belgian, CEO of a transport company, comes several times a season to relieve the pressure. And he gives it his all. I love it here. This time, Christophe arrived with about 60 friends like him, very well off. Together, they chartered a private plane from Brussels for a crazy week. To be the kings of the party, they are ready for anything like ordering 10 ice buckets, filled with bottles of champagne, but not to drink them. just for 15 minutes of good fun. How many bottles were there? Over 50. How much does that cost? We always say, when you go on vacation, there is always a little bit of loss. The small losers still cost nearly 6,000 euros. A waste that may seem shocking, but is almost normal here. Like Christophe, there are nearly 2 million of them every winter to celebrate in this small village. A great feat, because 20 years ago, this Austria part was completely unknown. Today, she is famous all over the world for his crazy evenings. There are estimated to be more than 130 million winter sports enthusiasts. For everyone, snow does not have the same color or the same flavor. In the war, ski resorts are waging war, two became famous all over the world, one for its wildest parties and extravagances, Ischgl in Austria, the station that never sleeps. The other for its very exclusive side, g starred in the Swiss Alps. It's the chicest and the most secret. With its sumptuous chalets costing more than 10 million euros, these billionaires on their 31 and its luxury shops on every corner. It is the refuge of the stars, a unique enclave in the world. A universe that is unreachable for ordinary mortals. Ischgl, g -Stud, for three months, we penetrated into secrets and behind the scenes at these two extraordinary winter sports resorts. In Ischgl, you will find out how these wild celebrations bring a fortune to Gunther, especially when the businessman brings international stars to the top of the slopes. Having a good time and then, and then spending a lot of money, so this is our business. We will also follow Leon and his friends. The five French people are planning to have a crazy week. On the program, an after-ski bar, go-go dancers and strong emotions. 
On the other side of the Alps, in Gstaad, the most luxurious resort in the world, how do the ultra-rich in the international jet sectors are they spending their vacations? Answer with Prince Charles and Rida Lovkowicz. Thanks to his title and his interpersonal skills, he became the darling of billionaires. You will see that he knows how to take advantage of it. Are you more diamonds? I love, yeah. Yeah, I know. Gstaad is also one of the princess's favorite drop-off point the most famous on the planet, Camilla from Bourbon the Two Sicilies. Accompanied by her husband, a direct descendant of Louis XIV. Between dream chalets and palaces, the princess is about to spend an unforgettable stay. How did these stations become the hippest and the most select on the planet? What are their recipes for attracting more and more tourists? Five-star chalets and palaces, wild parties and giant concerts. Between the exuberant Ishglet and the very secret Gstaad, travel to the hippest ski resorts on the planet. In the heart of the Swiss Alps, 150 kilometers from Geneva, Gstaad. The most exclusive winter sports resort and the most secret in the world. A small village known to the largest fortunes and celebrities for whom some come from very far away. They kept lots of Christmas light. Camilla, the Princess of Bourbon from the Two Sicilies has just arrived from Monaco with her husband, Prince Charles and her two daughters, Maria Carolina, 14, and Maria Chiara, 12. Like every year, the rich Italian heiress who decided to give himself a dream week rediscover this sumptuous decor. In the street of statues, made with the noblest materials. Very original. It's made of marble. Look how the cottage is decorated. Yes. In the center of the village, on the main pedestrian avenue, dozens of luxury shops. A paradise to shop when you can afford it. The princess mainly came to Gstaad to find her rich friends. It's the other specificity of the village. Most vacationers belong to the very exclusive club the wealthiest and they know each other. To the left of Camilla, the sixth fortune of England, Bernie Ecclestone, former boss of Formula One. He was the one who managed the promotional rights for the Grand Prix. But you don't come to Monaco anymore? Care for the sun for you. When, you know, you're aware in Europe. Yeah, now there is really no when reason. I was working. <laughs> now that you're on a real holiday. Next to them, an international jet star, Stephen Hun, the Chinese billionaire famous for his bank account and his fantasy. Lovers of the resort, he comes every year with his wife Deborah, a former top model. Beautiful, my friend. Did you see how she... They are local friends. It's so magical place, you know. Uh, the only thing I don't like is, you know, eating at the Olden Hotel with Bernie Ecclestone. No. I try to fight paying the bill. It turns out it's his hotel, you know, and then the guy said no, you know. <laughs> Between the three of them, their wealth is estimated at several billion euros. Elsewhere, these unusual characters regularly appear in one of the magazines would probably be chased by the paparazzi, but in Gstaad, no one bothers them and they take pictures of each other almost like ordinary people. They are Barbies. They are Roman Barbies. Thank you. I call you. Everyone's finding themselves on this village side. We can't really miss each other. It's like that every winter, the small town of 7,000 people, nestled at an altitude of more than 1,000 meters, brings together all the celebrities of showbiz and international jet set. Johnny Halliday owned this beautiful chalet. The filmmaker lives in Gstaad among others French Polish Roman Polanski. Madonna, the actress Selma Hayek. All members of the princely family of Monaco. 
They all put their bags here, but not necessarily for skiing. Camilla hates that. I think it's a wonderful, magical sport, certainly spectacular, but very dangerous. I never learned to ski, and I'm not ashamed to say I don't know how to ski. You have to learn when you are young. My sister and I prefer the skating rink. In winter, we skate. The princess is not alone in this case. It's in this luxurious hotel, a five-star, that the Chinese billionaire Stephen Hunt planned to spend five dream days. He booked the most beautiful suite, the ultimate. 160 square meters, great comfort. For this, they pay 9,500 euros per night. However, he has no intention of putting on skis either. My wife and myself don't ski, and if you don't ski, I think Stuttgart is one of the best places. Uh, it's very magical. You come here, uh, we, we do go to a lot of um, ski resorts around the world, in Europe, in America in particular. And every time we come here, you feel like you're in, in a fairy tale wonderland. The, the castle, the, all, all these things, you know, it is, it's amazing. Just the whole, whole atmosphere is very different. It's very different. And uh, we have a lot of friends here, you know, who come mostly from Europe. Yes. They're all here, you know, in, in this uh, winter period, the winter break. So, so that's why we choose to come here. Famous the world over for its tax advantages, Switzerland has always attracted great fortunes, but the love story between them and the station has begun over 100 years ago and we owe it to the construction of a five-star hotel, imagined as a fairytale castle, the Gstad Palace. Star Palace, hello, don't leave, thank you. Here, the smallest suite is worth 2,000 euros per night in high season. Even at that price, billionaires are going out of their way to get a place. This success is the pride of Andre Ashoth, the owner of the premises. For him, every year, the same challenge, satisfy the most demanding customers in the world. Andres, don't leave the cart in the hallway. He proudly displays photos of his ancestors in the entrance hall of his establishment. Because they are the ones who have made G-Start an enclave of celebrities. Here, my grandfather. In fact, it was my grandfather who was able to attract celebrities. He understood that if we have stars like Louis Armstrong, Blazer Minnelli, Amaril Mathieu, who appear at the palace and that they're doing a concert, it's coming from all over the world, especially from Europe. At the time, there was less television via the internet. So people were moving around. I met Elizabeth Taylor, Madonna, Michael Jackson, even Margaret Thatcher, for example. Yes, it was almost a small part of my parents' daily life and today in my life. The hotel has also served as a refuge for money from great fortunes during the Second World War. For it was in these basements that were the nation's gold bars. I'm showing you here. This bunker was protected through a concrete slab five meters above which is the lobby terrace today. Here below there were two floors of bunkers protected with two doors like that. There was an entrance on the other side. That's where they brought, during the Second World War, a large part of the Swiss gold reserve to hide it in the mountains. It is a source of pride. There are still direct telephone lines at the Federal Palace. Today, the bunker has been transformed into a restaurant and Andreas has to face tough competition. The village has more than 40 hotels, including five five stars. So, at the start of the season, at the G-Stad Palace, the battle is over to prepare the rooms of these prestigious guests. This morning, Vittorio, the vice director, is in charge of it in person. Buongiorno, Rodica. Come va? Tutto bene? Come la camera pronta? Allora inizio a fare un giro da quel lato e poi vengo da questo lato. Ok? Grazie. Michael Jackson slept in a suite like this. 80 square meters that Vittorio must pamper. 
a spacious room, a lounge area, an alpine-style dining room with the added bonus of a wine cellar filled with Grand Cru's. An XXL dressing room and two bathrooms in Italian marble. Guarda, Rodica, qui c'è un po' di polvere. Se puoi fare qui, qui dentro. These are the details that make the difference in a room. All customers must be received at the Star Palace like a king or like a queen. Come on, let's go. The vice director doesn't think he says so well because the establishment must receive a member of the European aristocracy. On the other side of the village, in the center of Gstad, at the station, the hotel driver is about to welcome him with honors due to his rank. Hello, Jose. You are nice as ever. Thank you, I am greeted by the snow. Thank you. Is the car there? Yes. Prince Charles Henri de Lobkowicz is a direct descendant of the last King of France, Charles X. Owner of three castles in France, this globetrotter spends all his winters in Gstad. But not just for fun. Ambassador of a major jewelry brand, he must organize the most glamorous evening of the season. The most beautiful jewelry should be presented there. They are the biggest customers in the world here. It is good to try to bring them together to make them rediscover new collections or help people discover the brand. To put all the odds on his side, Charles Henry will organize his reception at the Gstad Palace, a place where the prince also has his habits. Good day to you. Thank you, Roger. Hi, how are you? How are you? Oh, how nice. Hello, good morning. Happy to be here. Pleasure to see you under the snow. That's nice as well, thank you. It's a bit like home here. I've been coming for a long time and it's not the house, but look at the kindness of the people. It's going to be a busy week, so no time to lose. Charles Henry must launch a hundred invitations to people who are likely to spend tens of thousands of euros for a single ring. Good morning. For this, there is no need to call a public relations agency. The prince's great strength is his address book. Now I have one of our important customers who asks to come with two people and we are really limited, limited in place. Often, they are extremely busy people that have done business that have done very, very well. The week they go on vacation, they want to see their friends again. Gastod is the perfect place for that. For Charles Henry, it's the start of a week which promises to be full of surprises. Three hundred kilometers away, in Austria, in Ischgl, the party is already in full swing. It is this atmosphere that makes the ski resort successful. Here, you don't have to be a billionaire to have fun until the end of the night. All the madness is within reach. Come on, here we are. On the other hand, we leave everything that is ski boots. Originally from a small village located near Strasbourg, Leon and his four friends went over five hours to get here. With an idea in mind, having the craziest week of their lives. We're not the type to calculate, we just take it as it comes, but we'll say that the limits haven't been set. A seller of agricultural equipment, Leon Gain earns just over 2,000 euros per month if he chose Ischgl, it was also a question of budget. The five young people booked an apartment in this small hotel. 70 square meters, with two large double rooms that can accommodate four people. A kitchen equipped to cook good meals at a lower cost, a small living room and as a bonus, a beautiful terrace. Is there life here or not? Comfort is basic, but in total, the five friends only pay 1,500 euros for a week, or 300 euros per person. Financial level, it's more interesting. Last year I was on French stations where the budget for the same service, I don't mean that it's doubled, but we're a third higher. Come on, let's go.
With the money saved, the five friends intend to make the most of it. Especially Joe, the single guy in the band at 25, this electrician dreams of meeting a beautiful Austrian woman or more, if affinities. Not just an Austrian woman, I can visit every country, I don't mind. My technique is dance. And to achieve these ends, Joe has everything planned out. His friends left him the extra beds in the living room. One bed for me, and another for an Austrian woman. Joe, did you find anyone? He can take an Austrian woman with him. Joe is hoping to beat up his friends before getting caught up in the hustle and bustle of the party. Off to the ski slopes. In Ischgl, the package is 250 euros per week. It's the same price as in the most beautiful French resorts. Except that here, the facilities are brand new, like this latest cable car equipped with ultra-modern equipment. We are lucky to be in a station where they put in the necessary resources in everything that is reassembled and very often on the chairlifts or in cabins like that, it's quite comfortable. What Leon and his friends are particularly fond of, these heated benches are very useful in minus 10 degrees. That's what the band really likes, it's to heat your buttocks a little bit. It's said in a slightly trivial way, but it's a luxury that all skiers in the world envy. That's what makes Ishgul so successful. To be very competitive on the international scene, the most party-loving resort on the planet has not forgotten athletes. Over the last 10 years, Ishgul invested in state-of-the-art equipment. Let's go. The resort's other treasure is this 240km ski area with XXL tracks. For the five friends, strong sensations are guaranteed. She's great, she likes it. To celebrate this first day of vacation with dignity, the five boys can't resist it. It's custom, a stop at one of the 14 bars and restaurants altitude of the ski area. After the effort, the comfort. It's the start of the second day. It's only 4 p.m. and a good hundred skiers are toasting. It's the rest sort other other attraction here, prices defy all competition. On average, consumption is 50% cheaper than in France. It's less than 5 euros per half litre. In France, we will be at 10 euros for. I'm talking about French stations where it's clearly more expensive, in Ischgl this week and on the first day after skiing. At this rate, some consumers sometimes drink to excess and overflows are common. Unfortunately there are abusing people here so inevitably trackers, I think, they are used to picking up a few. We're going to avoid being a part of it. With altitude, the effects of alcohol are multiplied and skiers are losing control. When leaving the bar, it's even a massacre. Leon and his friends prefer to set foot in order to return to the village safely because tonight, they intend to continue the party in the valley. Every day, the city center of Ishkel is overrun by thousands of partygoers. An atmosphere the resort is famous for and that we owe to a fearsome businessman who was rather discreet. Like every evening, Asterisk Gunther Alois Asterisk goes on an inspection tour in its establishments. At 70, this visionary from Austria looks like a hippie had the idea of transforming this small ski resort into a giant nightclub. He copied the recipes that made Ibiza a success. Music, 
In high season, Sunbow welcomes more than 600 customers per day and its daily revenue amounts to more than 20,000 euros. A real cash machine. To make even more numbers, he is not short of ideas. As a good businessman, it uses formidable commercial techniques. All these go-go's dancers come from the Czech Republic. Gunther only pays them 60 euros for 8 hours of work. A low salary for Austria. But thanks to the tips, they can earn up to 4,000 euros per month. A small fortune in their origin country. Dominica, 26, has been working here for two years. For her, it's a bargain. Here in Austria is it's better salary than in Czech. Four times, sometimes three times. It depends. Every day is different. <laughs> Thanks to these management techniques, Gunther is now at the head of an empire. In addition to this bar, the biggest in the resort. It has three other clubs and the two most beautiful palaces in the city. Establishments that have nothing to envy their European neighbors. With spa, dream pool, and upscale suites which are rented up to 1,700 euros per night. A great feat for this son of a farmer who was originally very modest. We had nothing, you know, but the, like all the others, they, they, they have one cow and then two goats and a sheep and five chicken. So this is just what, what we had. Today, Gunther manages his business with an iron fist. His ambition is limitless. To become number one in Europe, a crazy idea, transform your station into a giant amusement park. It's future, only, only, only future. This are, is a new concept, penguins in the ski area. Would be an amazing thing because all the kids and the families, they would love it. It's an art project, you know, you have hundred bumps exploding and making the landscape into an artwork. This is a roller coaster, 10 kilometers long, from the peak of the mountain down into, in, in, into the valley. Giant roller coaster, a track painted red or a snow park with the buxom shapes of the American star Pamela Anderson. Projects that may seem far-fetched, but Gunther firmly believes in them. He has already done another totally crazy one. A giant concert unique in the world, at the top of the slopes, at an altitude of 2,300 meters. Robbie Williams, Elton John. Mariah Carey, the star of Pink Pop in Ski Gear, all these stars performed on this stage facing 20,000 spectators. This year, the millionaire hopes to break all attendance records with another celebrity, Helen Fisher. With over 12 million records sold, it is number one in Germany. It's completely full, it's booked out. And tomorrow there will be more than 25,000 people consuming and spending a lot of money. Before declaring victory, there is an immense technical challenge, set up a stage worthy of the Star de France at the top of the slopes. Over 100 tons of equipment to be airlifted from the valley. Well, the most difficult part is always the challenging weather condition. Like, like today it's uh, windy and sometimes it's snowing, so it's quite, quite challenging. The coming and going of helicopters has only just begun and for the 30 technicians in charge, the start of a long battle that will last two weeks.
On the other side of the Alps, in Gstaad in Switzerland, especially not a giant concert, no outdoor parties. Here, the cult of secrecy reigns. To spend a dream vacation away from prying eyes, large fortunes are ready to spend millions of euros to treat yourself to sumptuous chalets. In Gstaad, the price per square meter exceeds 20,000 euros. It is the most expensive ski resort in the Alps. Good morning. This morning, Charles Henry Lobkowicz has an appointment with a real estate agent to visit one of these mountain palaces. Because the prince regularly wears the costume of a luxury broker. That is the case today. He must find a cottage for a rich client. Will he find the rare pearl? That's the one with the swimming pool? Yes. Great. She's looking for at least six rooms, it's a family and if possible a swimming pool. Is that doable here? We find many things and quite exceptional. Monica, the real estate agent, found an exceptional home who is looking for the owner. It is sold for 15 million euros. It's beautiful, it's good, it was a sprawling chalet, but here, in Gastod, the recent chalets are sublime. This four-story cottage is 600 square meters in size. Inside, the comfort is worthy of a large palace. The main room is this living room, dining room of 80 square meters, with a fully equipped kitchen. Cozy little space, beautiful light. Upstairs, six bedrooms, including a master suite of 30 square meters. Nice. This is the service room. The height of luxury. As it's often case in beautiful homes like this, one room is reserved for staff. It's important to have service rooms for staff that are well installed. They have their own kitchen, that's good. Is there still staff here? It's almost always staffed. You have to run a house like that. Icing on the cake, a private life to serve all four floors and the house's hidden treasure. Wow, fun. This spectacular spa with heated pool and jacuzzi. Hammam on one side and sauna on the other. And the ultimate. So basically, you can sit here and watch your TV on this screen, right? Cool. I like this. The spa can even be transformed into a movie theater. It is an incredible comfort. The house keeps all of its promises. They are very beautiful places, but of such quality, it's rarer on the market. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Charles Henry only has to make his report to his millionaire friend. For celebrities, Gstad is a real paradise. But the resort is not all luxury and pleasure. A few kilometers away, on the fringes of Glitter, Camilla, the princess of Bourbon des Deux Sicils, decided to treat herself to a little treat she asked her private secretary to organize a surprise for his daughters. Have we arrived, Mr. Herman? Yes. A day on the farm. Hi, Willie. Hello, madam. How are you? Hi, Willie. Is everything all right? Thank you for welcoming us. It is a pleasure. Especially for girls, it's nice. It's good. You show us. Where is it? Is it there? Wow. It's great. Good morning, sir. They are the other stars of the village. In Gstad, there are nearly 7,000 cows, almost as many as there are inhabitants. This farmer owns about 50. Rare privilege, Camilla and the two princesses will have the right to try their hand at trafficking. A first for the princely family. I am going to try. Yes, of course. Nothing at the moment. 
Yes, yes, please. Slowly, don't hurt him. Look at that, it's very, very hot. I am very proud. I can tell you when I would have a cappuccino or cornflakes in the morning, I'll think about it. Extraordinary. Do you know she's a princess? No. That's not important. We have a lot of princesses here. It's the turn of the two little princesses precisely. Camilla organized this excursion for them with an idea in mind. Inculcate simple values in them at the antipodes of the life they lead in palaces. Are you happy? It's so good. Were you going to do that one day or not? No, really, I wasn't thinking about it. Maybe become a farmer, I don't know. At the moment, I don't think so. Thank you for your welcome. Goodbye, cows. <laughs> the two princesses were enchanted by this unique experience. Goodbye later. <laughs> they should not forget it anytime soon. Their vacations have only just begun and their mother prepared other surprises that were just as original for them. Further down the valley, Charles and Rida Lopkowitz short social events in Gstad, there are them every night. For the prince, these receptions are a fantastic pool of wealthy people. And a golden opportunity to distribute invitations to the party he organizes in a few days. Hi, how are you doing? Are you all right? Yes, very good. I am glad to see. This gallery is among the hippest in Gstad, exhibits the works of the most prestigious contemporary artists on the planet. This evening, Patricia, the owner, is organizing a vernissage with works by Jeff Koons, one of the most famous American artists in the world. What marvelous things are you showing us? First, Jeff Koons. How many Koons coins do you have? This one is an original room in the studio. Well done. How much are you selling it for? The gallery owner prefers to remain discreet because this work by Jeff Koons would be worth over 1 million euros. A fortune, but Patricia is not worried. In Gstad, it is sure to find a buyer. He looks like lots of friend dogs. Gstad is the place in Switzerland with the most arts per capita. Whether they are ancient art collections, of contemporary art, of modern art, there are priceless treasures in the chalet in Gstad. We are going to catch you. Hello. Hello, how are you? Charles Henry has not lost sight of his objective. But tonight, no big fish. Luckily, the prince has spotted an acquaintance that could be useful to him. On the 17th, I'm having a small cocktail with Caroline. No kidding? Are you coming? Gladly. Baccarat room. Her friend is an influential press officer in the art world. So even if she doesn't buy jewelry, she'll know to make her party famous. For the prince, the marathon continues. He has less than 24 hours left to attract a maximum of high-end customers and succeed in its promotional evening for the major jewelry brand. In Ischgl in Austria, Leon and his friends are on the brink of war. After spending all day on the ski slopes, Alsatian tourists go to the hippest bar in the resort. Joe, the single member of the gang, hopes to find a soulmate there. It is only 18 and the atmosphere is already very lively. Here, it's like that every night. It's tradition. After skiing, no matter what time of day it is, we all meet up in the after ski. Of course, it's already a party, because everything has come together. The partygoers hadn't time to change. So inevitably, in ski boots, choreography is not always very academic. Ski boots are for dancing here. It's like sneakers or street shoes. 
Even in ski boots, there are some who give their all. It's Joe, the bachelor in the band. Dance is his major asset for flirting and he would like to mate. Have you spotted anyone? It's going to come. We would all be happy if he found someone. In addition, he still has an available bed if he can find someone, we'll be really happy for him. Joe makes a first attempt, but obviously, his dance moves do not have the desired effect. Nothing to discourage the single person who has spotted another young woman. Second attempt. And second failure. This time the young woman came with her boyfriend. Are you in trouble? It's more complicated than I thought. Most of the girls here are in relationships. It's harder to date, but I'm going to find a single girl. I'm going to find her. Unfortunately, it won't be tonight. After several failed attempts, the five friends decide to refresh their minds with an activity who is all the rage in the station, a night descent on a unique toboggan track in the world, the longest in the Alps. After a very rainy start to the evening, it's really not a good idea. Leon and friends take the risk anyway. Our death machine, our coffin maybe, we'll see. However, the danger is very real, because on these traditional wooden sledges, there are no brakes. To stop, you have to use your feet. Three, two, one, go! Let's go for 7 kilometers of descent at more than 40 kilometers h, with a lens, avoid fracture. At this altitude, over 2,000 meters, it is minus 15 degrees and the slope is steep. Partigoers are blinded by snow projections. It's foggy, I can't see anything. It's going too fast. In these extreme conditions, it is impossible to avoid falls. It's Nico, the surfer in the band, who first loses control of his sled. Before being hit head on by Leon. Nico, are you okay? Sorry. We just crashed there. Nico couldn't control his sled. And to avoid jumping into the ravine, he fell right in front of me, I hit him head on. Finally, more fear than harm, but the five friends are not at the end of their troubles. Attention! After 20 minutes of descent and several falls, Leon approaches the final stretch, exhausted. I am fed up, I want to go home. I can't take it anymore. I want to go back to the apartment. Luckily for Leon, the ordeal is coming to an end. A final effort and it's the arrival. We did it. You might think sledding is a kid's thing, but it's worse than a black track. Plus, I have snow on my back. In the gloves, I am an ice cube. Even transformed into a snowman, Leon found his smile again, but he was very scared. So for tonight, the acrobatics are over. The five boys go home to rest to be able to enjoy the end of the holidays. For Joe, the bachelor, there are only a few days left to find a soulmate.
In G-Stud, Princess Camelane doesn't know it yet, but today, she too will have a big fright. With her husband, Prince Charles, and her two daughters, she organized a vertiginous walk at an altitude of more than 3,000 meters on one of the highest peaks of the station. We're going to the top of the mountain, to the summit, so it's summit vacation. The view is magnificent, but at this height. Above all, you should not have vertigo. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Oh no. What is going on? Look down. There is total emptiness. I think dad's going to be a bit scared. I think it's worse than me. Camilla doesn't think saying that well. At the top of the mountain, the must-see attraction at the Billionaires Resort. A 100-meter-long footbridge suspended between two peaks. A unique construction in the world which makes tourists happy every day. But Camilla isn't really comfortable here. The view is magnificent. Cross the bridge where you think there's absolutely nothing, it amuses me a lot less. Yes, but I don't want to go. No, no. Go on, please. I'm holding your hand. No, no. Go on, take mom. Don't put yourself too, there's already dad. Advance. No, no. Each step is a real challenge. Camilla's girls don't work things out. When you look down since there are mountains. Don't get too close, stay here, there, we work like that. How are you, Camille? It's okay, it could get better. What is very annoying is that it moves. Ouch, ouch, ouch. At the end of the bridge. Ah, we have arrived. The reward. An exceptional panorama. It was so cool, it was beautiful. Did you like it? It was great. There are other surprises. After these strong emotions, the highlight of the festivities a dog sled ride. Maria Carolina and Maria Chiarine have been dreaming for weeks. So, to please his daughters, Charles took the cable car this pack of 10 dogs. Who wants to start? Me. Come, gladly. Maria Carolina is in the first round. Passionate about animals, the princess is overexcited. The secret is go to tell them to leave. Go! Top start for a walk worthy of a polar expedition on a track specially groomed for them at night. It's magnificent. And the best is yet to come. It's now it's time to drive. Let's go both of them. Yes, look. It's even better standing than sitting. Simple fun for some, but an extraordinary moment for the princely family. A breath of fresh air, far from the hustle and bustle of the city center. I am excited. It's like being part of a movie. I feel a bit like in the movies Lost in the Wild, with the dogs that give you the butt. Next step is skiing. No. Charles did succeed in his bet anyway, organize unusual holidays for his princesses that they will not soon forget. Further down in the valley, there is one who would also like to make a splash. Thanks, a good evening. Prince Charles Henri. It's good, it's very, very good. It's tonight that his reception for a major jewelry brand takes place at the G Star Palace. Good evening, gentlemen. 150 handpicked guests will be disembarking any minute. So, last briefing before kickoff. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. We start in half an hour. 
the limit is half past 10. I think it's going to spill over as usual. Good evening. There's the wall when people arrive. Yeah. Okay, that's important. They want to be seen with a company yeah. name. In these windows, the most beautiful creations of the house. Unique pieces that can be worth up to 2 million euros, like this necklace and its emerald. The prince hopes to dazzle all of Gstart. There are all prices. There are classic jewels for young girls and very important pieces with exceptional stones. 20 o'clock, the first guests let them in. Bankers, industrialists, used to the corporate world, the entire jet set from Gstart is present. As a good ambassador, Charles Henry has a little bit of attention for everyone. A seduction operation to highlight jewelry and the image of the brand. Have you seen the collection? They're very cool. These are very, very cool. They're hanging on things like this. This young woman and her husband, the German financier, are under the spell. Charles Henry feels there is something to be done. This is, this is just beautiful. Are you more Everything rubies? Everything is uh, beautiful. I love every piece. Are you more I, diamonds? I love this one. Okay, I'll tell your husband. You have good news and bad news. Yes. <laughs> she chose something. Okay, I have to make a photo. I'll tell you. You and can make the, the photo. Bad news is what? That uh, that's the next present. The prince has succeeded in his bet. But in this very cozy and very discreet world, there's no question of talking about money. Were there sales? Is there any good news about offers? When you have a party, it's primarily to welcome people. It is also about helping them discover the collection. The primary goal is to welcome and we try to welcome them as best as possible. Charles Henry won't say more, but is smiling. Because tonight, he succeeded in his mission, make this a promotional evening and event that matters in the very select universe of GSTAT. The next morning, across the border, Ishkol, the most festive ski resort on the planet, is also preparing to experience the event of the season. The mega concert, organized once a year at an altitude of 2,300 meters. Bring together 25,000 spectators, it was the bed of Gunther, the organizer. This morning, it's a veritable human tide that squeezes high up the mountain. Luke came specially to attend the event. He has just traveled 500 kilometers from Strasbourg. And to be there, he paid 100 euros for his entrance ticket. So, with his friends from Alsace, he is having a great time. I don't know what paradise looks like yet, but in my opinion, we are getting closer here. In Europe, this place is unique. 2,500 meters away, like this an open-air concert, you won't see it anywhere else. If another place existed, it would be known. The setting is magnificent. We are lucky the weather is nice. To mark the season, the organizer saw the big picture. He gave himself a superstar. Here is the one that all the spectators are looking forward to, Helen Fisher. It's an ultra popular star across Adoran. Foreign language. For an hour and a half, she went on to record her best hits. Refrains that may not tell you anything, but here, the public knows them by heart. For Luke and his friends, it's an opportunity to unwind. In the middle of 25,000 spectators, the French group does not go unnoticed. The party will continue further down the valley until dawn. Tonight, the bars in the city center are full to capacity again. A great financial success is on the horizon for the station. For Leon and his friends, it is also time to take stock. The five friends are delighted with their stay, except for one detail. 
Luckily, on the last night, there was no money left. We've run out of everything, the savings of a year, nothing is left. Even if they leave with empty pockets, young Alsatians regret nothing. Once again, Ishkla lived up to its reputation. In 20 years, the small resort in the Austrian Alps has been able to forge an identity that is unique in the world. Today it's the empire of the party, 